So, Georgina, hey, how are you going? Hello, thanks for having me. I'm very well, thank you. Nice. So, <laughs> how many times had you seen Frozen before you got the role? Zero. Wow. I had not seen it, I, I which is terrible. I just, I, you know, I don't have kids, and my, a lot of my friends have kids, but they're little babies, and so I it just hadn't, I hadn't seen it. And so when I got the audition... I was sort of starting from scratch, mm -hmm. um, but the thing was, I was on my honeymoon on oh. an island when I got the audition. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to convince my brand new husband that we were going to watch Frozen on our honeymoon, and he was going to play Anna in my audition. <laughs> and um, bless his heart, he did. It's one um, very understanding husband. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And then at the end of the honeymoon, I found out I got it. So Wonderful. it was quite the wedding gift, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So. How d was he as Anna? Oh, he was good. Yeah. yeah, no, he has quite a good American accent. I think um, the producers were like, oh, Georgina married an, Aust uh, an American? I she married an Australian. <laughs> that, that, it confused them, so that's okay. quite funny. Can you sing? No, I'm not a very good singer, which makes me feel slightly like mm -hmm. a fraud. Um, I, I felt it the most when we went to the BC Children's Hospital mm -hmm. and we went in character uh, dressed up to go see the kids and hang out mm -hmm. with them, and it was beautiful and it was an amazing experience. But there was one child who demanded I sing Let It Go and I couldn't say no and, mm. and everyone pulled out their cameras and it was a little bit um, mortifying because, yeah, I, I just, I wished I could live up to, mm. you know, Adina. But wow. um, <laughs> it's a very hard thing to do. <laughs> Did you get sick of that dress? Um, I, I loved it. Like, mm. I mean... Yeah, you can't not. And and also the dress gives you the character because I mean it's it's a very it's a very detailed dress. There was it, there was something like eight parts to it. The corset was very, you know, it was a corset, so it was constricting and and it certainly changed the way I walked and held myself and that in turn I think helped me find Elsa. So I had to be very grateful to the dress, but on the other hand, I was working in the Vancouver forest yeah. in a basically a wedding gown um, and so it was getting caught on trees and it was like insects were like flying and I couldn't get them out and then yeah and, and I just we'd work in the mud and I'd get mud all the way up to my knees and oh. the, the costume department they're, they're used to it because it's Vancouver but yeah. I just felt terrible because I had to clean you know all those layers of silk and mm -hmm. it was it it was a whole, there's a, there is a team of people behind that dress. Wow. It, it really, yeah. But it, it just felt special to get to wear it. It was great. So how would you use Elsa's frozen power in real life? Um, hmm. I would um, freeze the ice caps to stop global warming. That is a much better answer than I was thinking of, which involved ice cream. <laughs> or margaritas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. It's been lovely. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. It was fun. <laughs> Thank you.